The A320 is equipped with two twin-wheel main gear legs, which retract inboard. And a dual-wheel nose gear, which retracts forward. The wheels of the main landing gear are equipped with carbon brakes for efficient braking even at high temperature, an anti-skid system, anti-skid, an automatic braking system, auto brake, a brake fan, and a tire pressure indicating system, TPIS. The nose gear is equipped with a nose wheel steering system. Gear and doors are electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. Two landing gear control and interface units, LGCIUs, control the extension and retraction of the gear and the operation of the door. The LGCIUs also supply information about the landing gear to ECAM and the other aircraft systems. The ECAM wheel page displays indications for the main landing gear, nose landing gear, landing gear doors, tire pressure, and brake temperature. In the center of the ECAM wheel page, green and amber messages can be displayed to provide normal and abnormal indications. This will be discussed further in the normal and abnormal operation modules. At the bottom of the ECAM wheel page, the position of the spoilers is displayed. This will be discussed in the flight controls chapter. Let's go to the cockpit to locate the controls and indicators for the landing gear, brakes and steering. The landing gear selector lever is located on the center instrument panel. Just above the landing gear lever is a panel which contains switches and indicators for the landing gear, the auto brake, the brake fan and the anti-skid and nose wheel steering. Let's take a closer look. Landing gear position indications are associated with position indicators on the wheel page. Up in transit, down. When auto brakes are used, selection of low, med or max is made using these push-button switches. The anti-skid and nose wheel steering button controls both functions. The switch is normally left in the on position. The landing gear gravity extension handle is located on the center pedestal. This will be discussed further in the abnormal operation modules. The steering hand wheels are located on each side of the cockpit, so either pilot can taxi the aircraft. The rudder pedals can also be used to steer the aircraft. The rudder pedals are located on each side of the center pedestal. Manual braking is provided using the top of the rudder pedals. The parking brake handle is located on the center pedestal. Its operation will be discussed in the normal operation module. The A320 provides four braking modes. Normal braking, alternate braking with anti-skid, alternate braking without anti-skid, and parking brake.
Normal braking is powered by the green hydraulic system. Alternate braking, which includes the parking brake, is powered by the yellow hydraulic system. This gauge, which measures pressures from the alternate braking system, is located on the main instrument panel. We will discuss the normal and alternate system and we will use them in the modules that follow.